I just spent like, hold on, I just spent like a, eh, probably a good 10 minutes trying to press the red dot with the end of this golf club. This is actually a weapon, not really a golf club. Pardon me. I, um, Halloween was my projected due date for my baby that didn't make it, and, uh, I've done pretty good this Halloween. Uh, it's also been a year, a little over a year now, since Zelda died. I can't believe it's been that long. I can still hear her scratchy little meow. You know, I'm glad. I'm glad for that. I can no longer hear the way Castor and Pollux sounded. My kittens that died right before I got pregnant. Well, one died right before and the other one died <sighs> two or three weeks after I lost my baby uh, I've even you know decorated for Halloween I've got two pumpkins out there to carve my niece was here and we were going to carve pumpkins little shit I don't know I don't know what happened of Halloween. See, that right there is progress because uh, for the past like three years, it's been like, 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 I've said, I used to love Halloween, but I do, I love Halloween. And uh, it was just another reason why I was so sure I was meant to have that baby, you know? I do think we should come with instruction manuals, like warning labels, something. I don't know, I might retire talking about my baby. And this way, a future mate, because I'm going to leave these fucking... <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave these videos up forever and ever. And uh, my new mate can get his fill when he's like, what the fuck's wrong with this bitch? No. Uh, I the last uh, good pictures. Get my my grandmother and I used to kind of. Oh my my battery really is my battery low already? Oh shocker. My grandmother and I used to like, I used to take pictures of her, like glamour shots, you know. <laughs> and the last good photos I shot, like I'm a pro, I shot them, were on Halloween, the Halloween of 2018, when I was living with her. They were really good. She looked really good. I, I recall sending a few of them to my aunt. Doesn't she look so good? And my aunt said, if only she felt as good as she looked. I just remember that. That was before I told her she kind of looked like Holly Berry and she pretty much stopped texting me. 
and there is no way that that is why she stopped texting me because Holly Berry is stunning. But my aunt is one of those people, she's very pretty. I can't say pretty. Some women are handsome and striking and beautiful. Some are pretty. Some can be both. I would say my, my aunt is handsome, striking, and beautiful when she's not from all the fucking shit she does. I mean, she's very pretty. And she's one of those people that, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to say that. I don't see it like I used to because I'm so fucking biased. I'm sure you understand. Uh, she used to kind of look like Cindy Crawford. <laughs> she really did. And she used to kind of look like uh, Angie Harmon. I'm probably butchering that name. And she also kind of looks like... Uh, all of those women, there are certain things that, right, Holly Berry, it just so happens after I told her that, I mean, she never responded to it. We were kind of keeping, we had a little bit of communication and then she just wasn't responding to my texts anymore. A few here and there, right? I mean, that was before she stonewalled me outright. Um, I can't, I can't tell you how many times I've mulled over what the fuck did I do for my aunt to be so nasty and so hateful. But I didn't turn her into a gremlin. I'm not the magic water that like turns her into a gremlin. The way she's treating me and my mother, I really hate speaking for my mother, I just, but, uh, the treatment is a side effect of her unhappiness, I think, and I have to think and guess and surmise because the fucking bitch won't talk to me, and she is a fucking bitch. I have no idea where my grandmother's cats are. No idea. I was supposed to have those cats. Okay. Um, several times I promised I would take care of those cats. And you know, my grandmother was mad at me when she died. Awesome. Right? But she was mad at me for a fucking ridiculous reason. And uh, my aunt's not a dummy. The other flying monkey's not a dummy either. People knew that my grandmother was prone to lie. I want to say exaggerate. That's what I would normally say. But fuck that. This is, uh, I got to get it out. And then I can just, hmm. so, hmm. Zelda was my first kitty that I, that I got as an adult right? Uh, my other babies were my childhood pets that, you know, but Zelda was a gift for my mom. Um, I think for my 20th birthday, possibly my 19th, but I'm pretty sure it was my 20th. And she had diarrhea and she was skinny. She was all by herself. She needed love. She was a bitch, though. She was such a little bitch. Totally a little bitch, because she was the runt, and she remained tiny. Like, I would pick her up, and, and she never, ever weighed more than, like, Zelda could n not possibly have ever weighed more than six pounds at any point in her life. 
and she was really pretty gray, almost completely, but she had a little tuft of white on her chest. Huh. I think that's it. I don't remember. Huh. Anyway, um, her, her gray fur was the really pretty kind that's kind of purple. And she had really, really, really green, green, leaf green eyes. And she had a gray nose, not a pink nose. Right? I'm pretty sure she had a gray nose. I don't know. I might be getting confused. Ozman has a black nose. And he's so black, it's hard to see him sometimes. He doesn't show up in photos <laughs> very well. Um... He has a bunch of wise white whiskers, though. He used to just have one. And he got so fucking stressed out. <laughs> the whopping 10 minutes he was stranded outside in a neighborhood where he didn't recognize anybody. That he had, like, a couple. And they very quickly multiplied. 